Hello, my name is Doreen Wells. This video is to assist childcare providers in thinking through their plans and writing a plan that will work best for their childcare program. Plans will vary based on individual needs, but the basics are the same. The first thing that you should do is evaluate your risks. We've provided some examples that you might consider. Identify disasters that may happen in your area. Think first about what type of disasters your county might face. Then, think about your neighborhood. And then, your center or home. Childcare programs in California are required to have an emergency disaster plan as part of licensing requirements. Use the workbook provided to help you create your own plan. All staff should receive a written copy of the policies and procedures. Staff should be oriented and trained on the plan and know what is expected of them. The plan needs to be practiced with children and parents need to be informed. Wallet cards are perfect to give parents the required information for your program. Emergency plans should respond to these three categories shelter in place, lockdown, and evacuation, such as a fire drill or relocating to another building. Each of these actions needs to be practiced and evaluated regularly. Remember to include accommodations for those that have special needs. For example, children or staff that require medication, special equipment, or need assistance. If you care for infants, you will want to have an evacuation crib. When working with children, consistency reduces confusion and makes children feel more secure. Use the same commands in all situations. For example, a voice command like, ready, and let's go, or use a whistle to give direction. <whistles> use the same procedures in all situations to prepare children to take action. Get a partner and line up, or use a knotted rope for children to hold on to. An emergency does not relieve you of your responsibility of documentation. You should always have a ready-to-go file to take with you whenever you do a drill or leave your classroom or home. It should have emergency contact information for each child, authorization for emergency medical care and transportation, address, directions, maps, and telephone numbers for designated relocation sites, attendance sheets, sign in and out forms, medication administration forms, incident injury forms. When determining what you need in your emergency supplies, Think in eight basic categories. Important papers, water, food, clothing and bedding, first aid, sanitation, comfort and safety, and communication. You'll want to have a first aid kit and an emergency disaster kit for your program. Here are examples. You can find a list of items in your workbook. Drills and maintenance. You will want to conduct and document monthly drills. Test your smoke detectors and fire extinguishers yearly. Clearly post fire extinguishers and first aid kits. Make sure you and staff know how to shut off the utilities. Include in your plan how and when to turn off utilities. Be sure any special tools are stored in an easy to reach location.
Now put your plan into action. Post your emergency disaster plan near the phone. Post your floor plan and evacuation routes and include a diagram of where important items are kept. Practice, evaluate, and maintain your plan. Talk to your parents about your plan. Finally, it is important to remember that before you can care for others in an emergency or disaster, you need to make sure you and your staff are prepared at home. All staff should be strongly encouraged to have their own family plan. You can use this video to help. Here are some things to consider. Do you have a family plan for emergencies or disasters? Besides the children you care for, who would you be responsible for if a disaster would strike? Do you have an out-of-area phone contact for those disasters where local communication might be down? Have you practiced the plan with your family, relatives, and or neighbors? Where will you take your pets during a disaster? Do you have a way to transport everyone in your car if you needed to? Do you have enough food and water to last at least 72 hours? Having an emergency plan in place can and will save lives. We have included a workbook and numerous tools to aid you in writing your plan. Child care providers are an important part of disaster planning in our community and we want you to be prepared.